This is Pseudo canadensis, commonly known as the eastern hemlock. The eastern hemlock is a coniferous tree found at the Morgan Arboretum. Its general shape is strongly tapered, meaning that the base width of the trunk is much wider than the width of the tree at the very top. The branches of the eastern hemlock come horizontally out of the trunk, are slender and flexible as you can see, and droop down at the ends. The needles of the hemlock are dark green on the top and light green on the bottom. The needles are attached to the twig through a small stalk, as you can see if you look closely. Eastern hemlocks can grow up to 30 meters tall and up to 600 years old and are very important trees in the forest ecosystem and they're very nice. Okay, so here we have four groups of conifers that you would commonly see at the Morgan Arboretum. We have pines, spruce, fir, and hemlock. Um, to the untrained eye, they might look difficult to distinguish, so we're going to go through the steps in um, how to tell each of these trees apart. So here we have a hemlock and a fir, and of the, of the four types of conifers found at the Arboretum, they're probably the most similar because as you can see, they, both of them are a dark green on the top side of their needles. They both have rounded, soft needles, so you could bend them quite easily. So on both trees you have that. Um, one difference initially you can see is in comparison, the hemlock needles are a lot shorter than the fir needles. When you go to turn them on the underside, you can see that they also they're both a lighter shade of green on the underside of their needles. Their similarities are that they both have uh, two white stripes um, going parallel to the vein. But a key difference, aside from the fact that the hemlock needles, again, are shorter, is that if you go in closer, um, each hemlock needle is attached to the um, stem with a small stalk like this, whereas you go to a fir, and they're attached by, by way of a suction cup instead. So that is how you tell a hemlock from a fir. So looking at the other two species that we were talking about, we have the spruce and the pine compared to the hemlock. As you can see, there's a one like really, really big difference that should be obvious, the fact that hemlock has very, very flat needles. And these other two species have needles that are rounded. And the way you can tell is that if you take it in your hand, you, if you, and you're able to twirl it, it's a rounded needle, whereas these ones, if you take it off, you're not able to do the same thing with them. You cannot twirl them in your hands. Um, the difference between uh, spruce and pine is that spruce have a lot more uh, needles that are a lot shorter and more angular, and they're very, very pointy at the top, whereas pine needles are very, very thin. And then the last difference would be that spruce needles tend to grow on once, so they come off in uh, just one time off the twig, whereas pine needles grow in what's called fascicles, which are groups of needles. In this case here, there's five per fascicle, so that's the difference.